वन दिस इज चैप्टर टेन सॉइल लेट्स सॉल्व द एक्सरसाइज पार्ट फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स फर्स्ट वेरियस लेयर्स इन द सॉइल आर कॉल्ड हॉराइजन सेकेंड द इंटरमीडिएट पार्टिकल्स दैट आर नीदर वेरी रफ नॉर टू स्मूथ आर टर्म एज सेल्ट कोहेसन इज द टेंडेंसी ऑफ सिमिलर पार्टिकल्स टू स्टिक टू वन अनदर Fourth, soil air is important for roots to carry out respiration. Chemicals and toxic substances cause soil pollution. This is match the following: potter soil, clay, organic material, humus, vermi composting, earthworm, sandy soil, is well aerated. Concrete floor cannot percolate. Now, I'm thinking. Take the correct option which of the following is not an agent of physical weathering this is organic acid which of these is the lowest horizon of soil profile that is bedrock which organism is known as nature's plowman that is earthworm which soil can retain more water clay soil coconut trees thrive in coastal region where the soil present is mainly sandy soil now answer in brief question number 1 state the meaning of the term soil answer soil can be defined as the naturally occurring loose covering of broken rock particles and decaying organic matter that is humus on the surface of the earth capable of supporting life question number 2 list the four main agents of physical weathering answer temperature water wind animals and plants are the main agents of physical weathering question number 3 write one difference between sand clay and silt dear student it is suggested then wherever there is difference this kind of question you should write in columnar form sand the bigger coarse soil particles are termed as sand clay a smaller particles that are smooth are termed clay silt the intermediate particles that are neither very rough nor too smooth are termed question number 4 name the types of soil classified based on soil texture based on soil texture soil is classified into three categories sandy soil clay soil and loamy soil question number 5 give the meaning of the term cohesion cohesion is the tendency of similar particles to stick to one another question number 6 list any three causes of soil pollution the three causes of soil pollution are use of chemical or pesticides excessive use of fertilizers percolation of contaminated surface water to the layers below the surface surface oil and fuel dumping leaching of waste from the landfills uh, question number a answer the following question question number 1 classify and explain the categories of soil based on texture of the soil based on the te soil texture soil is classified into three categories sandy soil clay soil and loamy soil sandy soils sandy soil have so uh, soil particles that are bigger in size the large space between them are filled with air such soil cannot retain water as water can drain out quickly through the spaces between the sand particles sandy soil needs more frequent irrigation for successful crop growth clay soil clay soil have a higher proportion of fine and smooth soil particle there is a very little space between the soil particles so it cannot retain air however clay soil can retain more water than sandy soils this high water holding capacity can cause problems like water logging in the fields loamy soil loamy soil is a mixture of sand silt and clay particles it can hold both air and water loamy soil has humus it is the best soil for growing most of the crops differentiate between filtration and percolation infiltration and percolation so uh, infiltr infiltration is the rate at which water enters the soil is called infiltration rate whereas percolation rate is the rate at which water moves through soil is called percolation right short note on composition of soil so composition of soil depends on the nature of parent rock and the quantity and type of organic materials present in it the following components are generally found in a soil inorganic substances most of the inorganic substances present in the soil are derived from the parent rock organic material that is humus a uh, human in humus increases the productivity and water holding capacity of the soil soil water it is generally present in the space spaces between the soil particles the water content of the soil has a significant effect on the plant productivity soil air spaces between the soil particles contain air well aerated soils are associated with healthy roots that increases crop productivity soil air is important for the respiration of roots
living organisms a variety of organisms are found in soil they include microorganisms like bacteria fungi and algae question number 4 the type of crop that may be grown in a particular field depends on the types of soil give three examples to support of support this statement three examples which support this statement are as follows like cereal crops like wheat and legumes like gram grow well in clay and loamy soil paddy grows well in soil that are clay and rich in organic matter cotton grow well in well aerated soil that also drains water easily now what is soil erosion how can it be avoided the removal of top soil by agents such as wind and water is called soil erosion agriculture deforestation overgrazing and careless cultivation speed up erosion soil erosion can be avoided by extensive afforestation avoiding housing industrial development highway construction overgrazing and overuse of land now why it is said that plasticity and cohesion play an important role in the workability of a soil plasticity is the property that enables moist soil to change its shape on application of force and retain this shape even when the force is withdrawn on the basis sandy soils may be considered to be non plastic and clay soils to be plastic the tendency of similar particles to stick to one another is known as cohesion plastic soils are cohesive plasticity and cohesion reflect the consistency and workability of the soil this property is utilized in practice for making clay pots and terracotta toys value based question on the opening day the school principal and teacher welcome the parents and guardian of their new student the principal went on to say that the parents and the teacher both have a crucial role to play in the growth and development of children she compared the roles with the role of physical and chemical agent that cause the withering of soil and make it suitable for supporting and sustaining the growth of all forms of life straight any two of the values that parent teachers generally display during the growth of their children and right this second question now the values displayed during the growth of children by the parents teacher are patience kindness responsibility honesty empathy compassion self discipline open mindedness patience the willingness to compromise and the ability to accept diversity you can choose any two so answer to the role parents uh, plants and animals uh, like uh, this is biological weathering this type of weathering is caused by plants and anim animals the plants and animals have acid inside them and when they release their acid it converts into chemical that for the results in weathering and break breaking down of rocks and minerals rocks and other types of landforms solvent action of water helps in weathering of rocks it dissolves soluble minerals of rock solution helps in the removal of weathered material but total loss is negligible solvent action is increased in presence of carbon dioxide and organic acids formed by decomposing dead organic remains of plants and animals thank you that's all hope it will help thank you